Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Monkey Putter with another course review from PGA Tour 2K23. Now the course I'm going to be playing today is a new one. It's called Eagle Rock Golf and Tennis, designed by Flying Eagle 64. Now the course setup I've gone for is the blue tee at 7,841 yards. So it's a long one. Pin position one, wind speed medium, and everything else is set to the default. So let's head off to that first tee and we'll get this round underway. It's a lovely looking opening hole. Not a long par four, but it's a, a dog leg left, pretty sharp dog leg left. No option for cutting the corner that I can see, so I'm going to play it straight down the fairway. Oh, hit that very fast. This is slow down. It's going to go in the rough. Yep. Hopefully it's light rough. Now it's heavy rough, 74 to 83%. Now I think I'm going to try and go straight at the green from here. Let's go with the pitching wedge. Needs to sit. Ooh, just run onto the fringe. Looks like it's slightly downhill there as well. I've over hit it. Well, that's a scrappy par, but it goes down as a par nonetheless. Another par for the second, a big drop downhill here. It's a nice feature in the middle of the fairway. That's a better drive. Try the lob wedge. That's a good shot. Well, that was lucky I've had a couple of straight putts on the opening two holes. I love the, uh, the colours that have been used on this course. Let me quickly club back so we can have a look at this. It's really nice. Now then, 157 yards. 
into the slight breeze. I think I'll go with the eight iron. to get down it's a little long not bad at all downhill a little bit of left to right on this one nice putt I've got a lot of courses to get through. I, I wasn't very well at the beginning of the year, but I'm much, much better now. I'm not fully recovered, but I'm much better. So I've got a bit of catching up to do with the old course reviews, but I will get through them as soon as I can. But if you have designed a course that you would like me to take a look at, please drop it in the comments down below. And I will get to it as soon as I possibly can. Now we've got a par 5 here, it's a lengthy one, 572, uphill and it's a dog leg. So this might be a three shotter. Two eighty-three to go. Yeah, I don't think a guy can reach that. I could do with avoiding that bunker though. It's uphill. Or I could try and keep it down that right hand side, but it's quite narrow down there. Threading it past that first bunker. Ball's below my feet. So it's going to move to the right. I've hit it fast. It's going to be in the bunker. Damn. Never mind. What have we got left? 44 yards. It's not a bad lie. It runs away from me a little bit here. Put some backspin on it. We don't want this running too far. going to keep on going. It's a poor shot. It's tracking well. What a putt. Great birdie putt. It's a tricky par 5. I'm delighted with a birdie there. And par 4. This one's downhill. Five left but it's downhill so it's going to be playing approximately 88 89 well a downhill lie as well so it's going to shoot forward a bit I'm going to put a lot of backspin on this Oh, 
I've hit it fast. Let's hope it spins a lot. Mm, a little bit. Another nice setting for a golf course. Loving the palm trees and the blue skies. With the weather being as bad as it is over here in England at the moment, I could do with a bit of blue sky, low winds. And the warmer weather as well. It's pretty cold here in the UK at the moment. Now then, this is a tricky one. Severely uphill. It's going to be playing long. Got to hit that fairway, but can you see there that the fairway slopes down to the right? So the ball is going to gather down towards those right hand bunkers. It's quite a narrow fairway as well in that part. Wind off the right needs a really good swing. That's a terrible swing. Well, it was so bad that it's missed the bunker. So I was lucky there. Long second, though. Can add about 23 yards, so that's, that's 186. Let's try the 6-iron. I'm on a steep upslope. So that's going to cause a problem as well. Very steep up slope. I wonder if it's worth clubbing up once more. Go with a five iron. Maybe increase the loft a fraction. Needs to get down. Safely on the green. Three inches downhill. It's quite a bit of break on this one. Didn't hit that high enough, not by a long shot. It's a par, but it was a bit of a struggle. Four twenty two, again, a narrow fairway. Bunkers down that right hand side. Oh, I pulled it. I could do with the wind blowing. Come on, bring it back. Could do with a bounce to the right. Ah, rats. He went left. Heavy rough. 129. 19 feet uphill. Add on about 6 ish. It's 135. Let's go with. Go with a 9 iron. Oh dear, my swing has gone completely now. Need to find my rhythm.
few. And I'm working hard for some of these pars. And we've got a par three at the eighth hole. Very pretty as well. Let's just pan back a minute and have a look at that. That's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. We've got the waterfall cascading down there in the background. Really, really nice. Let's come back. Uh, 22, that's about 7 down. That's 186. 186. Then we've got the wind as well. Let's go with the 7 iron, but increase the loft a little bit. Pushed it. It's not bad for distance. Couple of inches downhill. Good two. Great hole to get a birdie on, that is. Really, really pretty hole. Long par five. Wind off the right. Two sixty nine to go, but it's uphill by about twenty yards, so not expecting to reach this, but hopefully leave myself in a reasonable position for my third shot. Fast swing. It's okay. It's a nice wide fairway. There's plenty of room there. Club up one here because I'm on an upslope, as you can see. It's a fair bit of roll to get okay let's try that oh that's gone too far okay mistake there from me i shouldn't have clubbed up i should have left it as it was Got the line wrong. Ah, oh, it's a shame. Yeah, the poor chip cost me there. Big drop in elevation on this par four here. Shame it's into the breeze, but um, let's try going that way.
No, it's not going to make it over the bunker. Okay. Pushed it a little. It's coming back. Yeah, it's not bad from the sand. Oh, just dropped in that side door. is helping a bit on this one. It's quite a wide fairway there, so you can afford to really have a go at it. with the sound wedge. Use the bites. A nice birdie going along quite nicely at the moment. We've got a par five coming up at the 12th. This one is reachable, especially with the wind behind. I'm going to drop the loft on this one. I don't want the ball to carry too far. The ball is quite a bit below my feet here. the upslope is going to take some of the sting out of it. That's pretty good. Outside chance of, a, of an eagle but two putts for a birdie. Not too much break in this. Nope, got the line wrong already. Oh, it's coming back a bit. No. Never mind. Okay, 13th hole, par 3, uphill. 
Oh, the pin position is right behind that front bunker. So this isn't really about getting it close. This is just try and get it on the green. Two putt for your par and move on, basically. So 54 feet uphill, that's about 18 yards, I think. So 18, that's 20, that's 221 into the wind. I'm going to go with a three iron, but increase the loft just a little bit. Get down, get down. Mm, okay, well it's on the green, but it's going to be a very long putt. Five inches uphill. Got some movement from left to right, and then towards the end, as you can see up ahead, when you get close to the hole, it then goes right to left. But I just want to try and two putt this if I can. Oh, slow down, slow down. Ah, too hard. Now I'm in trouble. That's too hard. Oh, it dropped. I honestly thought I'd missed that to the left. I was a little lucky there, but I'm. I'll take it. As they always say, there's no pictures on your scorecard. Short par four, severe drop in elevation. The wind is behind as well. I'm wondering if the safe option here might be to try and hit the three wood down there. Oh no, lazy thumb syndrome. I may have got away with it. It's going to go into the rough. It could have been a lot worse. It was a bad swing. Ooh, I've left myself a tough one now. Hmm. Ah, rats. Well, this is one of those risk-reward holes. And unfortunately, I'm struggling. Well, I scrambled a par. Great hole, that one. Like I say, risk reward. You could get a birdie or even an eagle. Or, like me, you could end up struggling for par. Now, this is a great hole as well. Look, 281, but it's uphill. Add on about 13 yards. Might be worth giving it a go. Oh, 
Oh, it's a bit slow. It's up there. It's going to be a long way from the hole, though. 88 feet. Now, potentially, I could chip this based on the, the rules of GGC Tours. If it's over 70... I can't remember if it's 70 or 75 feet, you're allowed to chip it. But I'm not going to. I'm going to putt it. Just hope I can... Not too much break on it. I just hope I can... It's a double breaker by the looks of it. Let's see if I can two putt this one. It's going left. I could do with that coming back if possible. Slow down. Yeah, not too bad. Bit of work left though. That's a good two putt. Just three holes remaining. Should be fine. 350 yards, yeah, happy with that. Hundred and five yards, but I can take off about eight. However, I'm going into the wind, so it's gonna cancel itself out a bit here. I think I think I'm gonna try. Downhill lies, it will shoot. I'm going to increase the loft on this sand wedge. It's a little on the slow side. It's not too far away though. That's a great putt, right into the heart of the hole. What have we got here? Par three. Hundred and ninety-five, slightly downhill. I'm gonna go with the six iron, I think. Do with that landing really soft. Oh, and it did to be fair. Oh, a bit nervous about this one. Yeah, good putt. Yeah, I was a bit nervous about that one. Wasn't too sure of the line. Uh, we finished with a par 5. Not far short of 600 yards, and it's into the breeze. So, again, it's going to be a three-shotter for sure. It's 
Perfect strike. Ooh, that's a good hit here, and I won't be too far short. Pushed it a little bit. Don't think it will reach the bunker though, so it should be fine. Oh, there's quite a slope there. Now then, I could do with putting a good chip on this one. Lots of backspin. It's a steep slope. That's a nice birdie to finish with. 12 under, happy with that. It's a fairly solid round. I had a couple of holes where I needed to scramble, but on the whole it was solid. And the course is great. Well, there you go. That's Eagle Rock golf and tennis by flying eagles 64 great course a lot of fun playing it off the off the the back tee as well at 7800 plus yards um, give that one a go as soon as you can it's a new course uh, i'm not familiar with that designer the name doesn't ring a bell but he's done a splendid job so i highly recommend it well thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please hit that like button down below and please subscribe to my youtube channel i would really really appreciate it well, take care, everyone, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye now.